channel Kids Cloud. Please subscribe to this channel Kids Cloud. How to read a metric ruler. Hello kids. Before starting this topic, I would like to ask you one question. What do we need to measure anything correctly? Do you know the answer? Okay, fine. We need correct units and correct measuring tool. Unit means standard quantity used in the measurements and measuring tool is a device for measuring a physical quantity. Our recent video was about the length measurements. We have learned about the metric system. The units used in this system are millimeter, centimeter, meter and kilometer. In continuation of this topic, we will discuss how to read a metric ruler for smaller scale measurements such as millimeter and centimeter. For your reference and better understanding, you can click our previous video on length measurements. There are two measuring systems, imperial and metric. Based on these systems, two types of rulers are there. An inch or imperial ruler and second one is the centimeter or metric ruler. An inch ruler is a prime part of measurements in the United States. While around the world, the centimeter or metric ruler is used. Now let's learn how to read a metric ruler. Have you seen different rulers? You must have. Here I will show you three of them. A ruler with an end mark of 15, another one which ends with 20 and the third one with end mark 30. So what are these numbers indicate? What else you find on these rulers? It is a bit confusing to read a ruler as there are so many lines on it. We need to understand what they all mean. The standard metric ruler is 30 cm long. What is meant by 30 cm long? If you observe this ruler, you can see that it is divided into 30 equal parts. These are numbered from 1 to 30. If you closely watch, you will see cm for centimeter and mm for millimeter on this ruler. Additionally, you will find alternate longer and shorter lines that are equally spaced. Now let's learn more about these lines. Here we have shown another 20 centimeter ruler. Each longer line on the ruler corresponds to the centimeter scale. Two adjacent longer lines represent the length equals 1 centimeter. Let's magnify this region for better understanding. Now it's visible that each 1 centimeter region is further divided into 10 smaller equal parts. Each line represents 1 millimeter which is equal to 1 tenth or 0.1 centimeter. Thus each 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. There is one middle length line which is halfway between every centimeter. 
it corresponds to 0.5 cm or half cm or 5 mm. In short, we can say that a metric ruler can vary in length, for example 15 cm or 20 cm or 30 cm long. Each longer line corresponds to a unit centimeter. Each shorter line between two adjacent longer lines corresponds to a unit millimeter. Two adjacent longer lines equals to one centimeter. Each one centimeter region is divided further into ten millimeter. Thus, 1 cm equals 10 mm and 1 mm equals 0.1 cm. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel.